In this episode, I'm on the southeast coast of England and discover a fantastic coastal walk between Folkestone and Dover. There's plenty to see and photograph, including stunning chalk cliffs. The area is full of history too. Let's go and hike, discover and shoot. I'm just walking down to an area called the Warren, which uh, is on the east side of Folkestone, not too far from Dover and the famous White Cliffs. It's an area that was created uh, over hundreds of years from landslides. There's lots of chalk grassland and also a fairly interesting wooded area that might be worth exploring. It's gonna be a sunny day, at least for the morning. Um, the sun hasn't risen yet and there's, there's no clouds, so I'm not here to photograph the sunrise. I'm just here for the low light, really. Um, the audio, I don't know whether this is working or not, it's so windy and the waves crashing on the rocks and the shingle. I can barely hear myself talk here. I'm about halfway between Folkestone and Dover, walking along the, the coastal path here. Well, the path actually ended about half a mile ago and now it's just uh, clay rocks and boulders. It's actually a bit of a challenging walk because everything's so slippery. Wet, wet clay, wet chalk is very slippery. So you've got to be careful, you need very sturdy footwear. You can only walk as far as Samphire Ho, which is about a mile west of Dover. And then from there, you go up the, a path up to the cliffs and you can walk all the way along the top of the cliffs back to Folkestone. And it's about a 10 mile loop. And it's actually a really great walk on a day like this. The famous white cliffs of Dover start on the east side of Folkestone and go all the way across beyond Dover uh, and they just get taller and taller as you go. And apparently there are bluebirds over the White Cliffs of Dover, but I haven't seen any. There's a seagull.
there was refreshments down on Sampai Ho. That was, that was a nice break. Now to walk up this hill through the tunnel, get on top of the cliffs, and start to head back to Folkestone. As you walk along this cliff top, you'll find Second World War lookout towers, gun placements, and a sound mirror. And then, there's this. Battle of Britain Memorial is a must-see. It's what made the White Cliffs famous after all. And from there, you walk down the hill and you're back in Folkestone.